So we left the last video with this error, and this is because we haven't created our views yet. Like I said, I'm going to be using Bootstrap for this. I'm going to be setting Bootstrap up now and creating the views. If you're new to Laravel Fortify, then I'll probably follow along with Bootstrap, just copying what I'm doing. And then when you're comfortable with how Fortify actually works, then you can move on and use the framework of your choice. So I'm just going to leave this server running here and I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to install Bootstrap. And although I'm not going to be working with any kind of JS for this, I'm also going to install jQuery. We're also going to install SAS and the SAS loader so that we can build Bootstrap from source. So to do that, we need to do an npm install. We can do hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. Because we only want these for dev. And then we want Bootstrap. We want jQuery. We want popper.js. And again, these are just dependencies of Bootstrap. We're not actually going to be using them in this course. And then we want the SAS and we want the SAS loader. And again, these two packages just help Laravel Mix build Bootstrap into a usable file. Now over in our project, let's create our SAS file that we're going to use for this layout. So under resources, let's create a new folder. I'm just going to call this one SCSS. And then inside of that, Let's create a new file and I'm going to call this app.scss. Then the first thing we need to do in here is actually import bootstrap. So you can do that with an at import. And then we want to import. We need to use tilde and then bootstrap forward slash scs forward slash sas forward slash bootstrap. Now, as you can see, I've made a bit of a typo here in the name of the bootstrap as I'm importing it. I'll fix this later on in the video. And now all that does is just import the bootstrap library from our no modules into our SAS file. Now, I'm just going to copy and paste some styles in here. And if you want to follow along exactly with what I'm doing here, I will paste a link in the description to this SAS file so you can get the exact same styles as I am. And just in case you're wondering, for the purpose of this demo, I'm actually using this free login form. Now I have modified it slightly. Like I said, I'll give you a link to that code. But just a quick shout out to Bootstrap Dash, as the majority of the skeleton in the work is actually theirs. And I'll put a link in the description if you want to come and download this. And you can show your support to them for providing this template for us for free to use. So now that's all our SAS set up, the next thing we need to do is pull in all the JS that Bootstrap needs as well. And like I said, I'm not really doing any kind of JavaScript stuff in here, but this is just for completeness. So if you are following along exactly and you're wondering why certain things aren't working at a later date, we're just going to make sure that everything's all set up and ready for you to go. So under resources JS app.js, we can see we've already got required Bootstrap in here, but we need to bring in jQuery and popper JS. So on the top line, we can do a window period dollar sign. And we want this to equal to window.jQuery. And we'll equal this to require. And we want to require in jQuery from our node modules. And then also for popper, we want to do window.popper. And we want to set this to require. And we want to require in the popper library from our node modules. And we'll set that to the default. Okay, that should be everything we need for our bootstrap. I've just noticed over in our app.sass, I didn't put a semicolon at the end of the import. So let's save ourselves from a future error there. I'll just make sure I save on that. So the final thing we need to do is tell Laravel Mix how to build our new bootstrap assets. So under the root of our project, let's open webpack.mix.js. And we can leave the .js part, that's absolutely fine as we imported all our dependencies into app.js. But we need to get rid of this post.css and bring in SAS instead. So if I just delete this, and I'm just going to copy this JS bit down to make it a bit easier. And instead of JS, we want SAS. We want to go into our SCSS folder, and we want to load up our app.scss file and we want to output this to public CSS. So over in our terminal, let's try a build. So we can do an npm run dev. 
and I've got an error here. I've made a little bit of a typo there. Can't spell bootstrap. So that's obviously bootstrap. So let's run that again. You can see now I've spelt that correctly. It's built our CSS and our JS ready for us to use. So now that we have our front end assets built, I'm just going to create out the templates. So under resources and views, if you can remember in the service provider, I put mine in an auth folder and I created a register and login page. So I'm just going to create these now. But of course, you are absolutely free to call them what you want and place them wherever you want within the views folder. So I'm creating a new folder called auth. And then inside of there, create a new file. And I'm calling this login.blade.php. And I'm creating another file called register.blade.php. I'm also going to create another blade file just in the root of the views folder. And this is going to be the main template that the login and register are going to inherit from. So I'm just going to call this one template.blade.php. Now we'll post a link to this code in the description so that you can copy and paste it over. But this is nothing fancy, it's just a basic HTML page. And I'm bringing in our app.js and our app.css. And then I'm yielding the content out in the main div here. And then for the login and register again, I've just copied over the HTML content for this and a link again in the description if you want to follow along exactly. If we give this a refresh now, we can see we now have the skeleton of our sign in form ready to go for us to link it up with Laravel Fortify. And if you're interested in using this image, I got this from Unsplash. And again, I'll drop a link in the description if you want to grab it as well. And if we just head over to our register page, you can see we have the HTML skeleton of our register form ready to go. So in the next video, let's look at how we can link up the login and register page into the back end of Laravel Fortify.